What's going on, Colts Nation? Welcome back to another episode of Bring the Juice. So, a little bit of a video here for you guys. Today, the New York football giants have officially announced they are releasing cornerback James Bradbury after they tried to initially trade Bradbury, but I don't think anyone was taking the bait on it because, well, for one, they knew the reports were coming out that they were going to release him anyway, even if uh, there was a trade so or they were going to release him even if there wasn't a trade. So, you know, people probably just waited out. Uh, nobody really wants to trade a lot of assets at this point, but nevertheless, Bradbury is out and that saves the giants about 10 to $11 million in cap space because of that. Uh, so let's talk about this here real quick. Should the Colts, Take a shot at James Bradbury, okay? Now, I can already hear you thinking. I can already hear everybody in the comments thinking, Derek, we've done so much for this defense already. Quit spending more money on the defense and focus on the offense. I understand that. But we are at a point now where the Colts have invested a lot into this defense and they feel very confident in what this defense is able to do adding somebody like a James Bradbury could really increase in the productivity of this defense and what they try to do. So let's just take a look here at Bradbury really quickly before we dive into this, uh, has been in the league for six seasons, spent his first four seasons in Carolina, uh, played a grand total of 60 games with Carolina over those four years. And then, uh, in that time of uh, in that time frame, had eight interceptions and had uh, two forced fumbles and had 279 tackles over the span of those four years. So this guy, this guy definitely can tackle. You know, he, he's very he's very instinctive. Uh, he lost a little production in his uh, tackle department for the Giants, but he was a very good tackler in Carolina. And then the last two seasons in 2020 and 2021, he ended up going to, uh, he ended up going to the Pro Bowl in 2020 and playing with the Giants. Played in 32 games, had seven interceptions in the last two seasons. By the way, seven in the last two seasons. So Bradbury has really upped his game when it comes to being a ball hawk. Uh, a lot of times he's had that opportunity and he's done very well with that. Uh, when you look at the completion percentage allowed by this guy, uh, basically over the last two seasons with the Giants, the completion percentage did go up uh, pretty pretty drastically from 2018. Now, 2019, 2018 to 2019, he took a giant leap uh, in regards to allowing a completion percentage. Uh even though it was, he got targeted 16 less times, but gave up eight more completions than what he did the year prior. I don't think it's really that crazy, but uh, 2021, if you're looking at it from a standpoint of efficiency, it might have been his least efficient year, but it was the year where he actually probably uh, did just as many turnovers as anything else. I mean, he did have four interceptions this last year. So, Needless to say, James Bradbury, six foot one, 212 pounds. So he fits the Ballard mold of what a guy like him wants, right? And he's 28 years old. He's going to be 29 in August. So again, joining that Stefan Gilmore of, you know, kind of being up there in age, right? You know, so they're not, he's not, he's not old yet, but he is uh, getting up there. He is a veteran in this league, been in the league for six years. Um, but still has a lot of good football left in him based on the people that I've talked to. Um, again, fits the mold. It, it, the fewest games he's ever played in a season was 13. So again, this is a guy that this is a guy that has played a lot of football, uh, hasn't had any major injury concerns. You know, has played in practice. He's played in every game. Uh, three out of his six seasons. So he he plays a lot of football, so we don't have to worry about that. Just the ultimate question, there's two questions that uh, go into here. Should the Colts go after him? And if they do try to go after him, 
what would they give up? What would they have to give up? Well, here's the thing. For the argument of should, I already stated that, you know, adding a guy like Bradbury, you know, would really, really solidify the defense where we want it in the secondary. Now I get I get the people that state that Isaiah Rogers, who is coming into his third year now, wouldn't have to pay him anything. You know, he's he's ascending right into what we want him to potentially be. Um, I still feel that Bradbury is still a little better at this moment in time, uh, just in regards to the fact that he is more has more veteran experience. He's a guy that's not going to get burnt as often as somebody like an Isaiah Rogers is so far. Again, Rogers is still young, and Bradbury is a more uh, experienced veteran. So it makes sense to add another experienced veteran with another experienced veteran on the opposite ends. And then having Kenny Moore in the slot, Isaiah Rogers could be that solidified backup for either one of those guys. You feel confident in what Isaiah Rogers is able going to be continuing to be able to do if you decided you wanted to go with Bradbury. Again, he fits, he fits very well. If the Colts wanted, the Colts honestly should try to get him because you know, again, a very solidified corner in this league. You can never have enough of them. And especially with what the Colts are trying to do defensively right now, it makes all the sense in the world to try to keep solidifying that defense. Now, here's the here's the only one issue that you have. And the problem with it is, is how much is Bradbury actually going to cost, right? Because obviously the Giants did not want to pay him, you know, 10 plus million dollars, right? So it'll be very interesting to see where Bradbury is in regards to contract sake. No way we get that. We would get this guy for under 8 million. The Colts are currently sitting at 13.1 million uh, in cap space right now. My best guess is Bradbury is probably going to be somewhere between that, probably around that 10 to 11 million mark. It's probably what I would think 10 to 12, maybe. So, you know, if you're the Colts, you know, you're, you're giving up pretty much all the rest of your cap, except for maybe like a few, uh, other things. So the problem you'd have with it is, is the, is that if you couldn't get him for under, uh, under 11 million, you know, who else are you going to get? Because, you know, you still have to address the offensive line, right? You still have to address, uh, interior offensive line depth. Uh, you know, it, it, I mean, that's one thing he's going to have to, you know, get some people for that. How much is that going to cost? You never know. It's a numbers game right now. Ballard could potentially work some numbers around to maybe get a few more, but again, Bradbury best corner available on the market now at this point. And, you know, it would be a very good investment for any team that is willing to take on the chance of a Bradbury. I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts on this because me, I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna go all out in your defense, adding another guy like Bradbury really does make a lot of sense, you know, to be able to solidify this defense even more than what it already is. But then again, I understand the problems with you that may come of this. You know, you again, you still have to draft or draft, you still have to sign interior offensive lineman depth. So. We'll see how this works. Again, highly doubt that this is going to happen, but it is a possibility. You know, the Colts have never been shy about getting defensive players, acquiring good defensive players. And now that you don't have to trade for them, you can simply just uh, go and give them a free agent contract. So things could happen. But then again, like I said, it'd probably be a long shot for the Colts just because of cap situation. And uh, that it just depends on whether or not Bradbury wants to come to a defense that's already stacked. You know, I mean, if it's already stacked, maybe he'll take a million or two less to go and play with a defense that's stacked. So we'll see how that works. But thank you guys again so much for tuning in. Let me know your thoughts. And as always, guys, go Colts. Yeah.